Active management of third stage of labor is the topic of our discussion today. Active management of third stage of the labor involves giving a prophylactic uterotonics, early cord clamping and controlled cord traction to deliver the placenta. In fact, third stage of labor is a period after delivery of the baby to the delivery of the placenta. So the first stage is when cervix is opening and the baby is moving down the birth canal. The second stage is when the baby is being born and the third stage is when the placenta is delivered. The three components of active management of third stage of the labor include first of all early clamping and cutting of the cord, secondly use of oxytocin and thirdly the control cord traction. So here we will explain the early clamping and cutting of umbilical cord. So wait to clamp from 1 minute up to 3 minutes. First clamp is applied approximately two fingers above the abdomen and second clamp about five fingers above the abdomen. Then cut it in between. The second component is use of oxytocin. Appropriate prophylactic dose of it is given. Palpate the abdomen. Rule out the presence of additional babies. Give oxytocin 10 international unit intramuscular. The third component is control cord traction. Hold the clamped cord and the end of the forceps with one hand. Place the other hand just above the woman's pubic bone. Wait for the contraction. Stabilize the uterus by applying the counter traction during the gentle traction. At this point, different methods of blood loss assessment are used which are usually underestimated. And the different methods include first of all measure the blood loss with under the buttocks drapes secondly visual assessment and thirdly weighing the swabs per pad one gram is equal to one ml the drug of choice in active management of the third stage of the labor include oxytocin 10 international unit iv or im ergometrine or methyl ergometrine of 200 microgram im or iv Mesoprostol 400 to 600 microgram, Corbitocin 100 microgram IM or IV for the prevention of PPH. This algorithm explains the management of postpartum hemorrhage. The first thing which we need to consider is PPH prevention, which starts from antenatal care, treatment of anemia, and active management of the third stage of the labor. So, initially, we do early detection of PPH to trigger treatment blood loss of 500 ml or earlier at 300 ml plus any abnormal sign is detected and we go for the first bundle. The first bundle approach include uterine massage, IV, fluids, ringer lactate or normal saline, establish the cause, give more oxytocin and transexamic acid. Then we go for the supportive measures which include the tears treatment, catheterization of the bladder and emptying of the uterus. After that, we go for the second bundle refractory PPH. Then we go for bimanual compression, aortic compression, uterine balloon tamponade, and NAST anti shock garment. After that, we go for supportive measures, which include the blood transfusion, surgery, and the referral. The surgical measures include uterine artery embolization, B lynch buttress, ligation of uterine and ovarian arteries, and hysterectomy in the end. The list of uterotonics include first of all oxytocin along with the uterotonics transexamic acid is given with a dose of 1 gram IV slow over 10 minutes. Other choices include ergometrine, IM or IV slow 0.2 milligram, carbotocin, carboprost, mesoprostol and prostaglandin F2 alpha. Write in the comment section about your queries. Subscribe on Ops and Guidey and follow our Facebook page.